Hi, this is Trevor Conkergood. Welcome to this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. And our topic for this week is about the auto lease background. And that is a tool that you'll found on the top of your workspace on the right hand side right here. And it's currently uh, dim or not brightly lit, which means I can't currently use the tool. And if you want to use auto lace background, then you need to select something to create an auto lace background for. In other words, you need to select your embroidery design. And when I click to select this embroidery design, Notice that now the tool up here for auto lace background is brightly lit. And so I'll go ahead and click on that now and you'll see a small window opens up with some options. And I guess the first option is about the border and how far around your design it will go. And mine is currently listed in millimeters. If you'd rather that be listed in inches, then you can cancel using the tool and simply right click on the ruler to change your workspace from metric into inches. And that way, when you go ahead and you click on your auto lace background tool, it will measure the distance, um, you know, in inches versus millimeters. So you can choose uh, either way, whatever you have your um, units of measurement set to is what it'll display in here. And then um, I guess the question is, do you want to make an outline border? So that would trace around the butterflies, or do you want to use a shape border? And then you can choose from a list of shapes like, you know, pentagons and diamonds and this sort of thing, ovals. And when I say, okay, the program will create the auto lace background. Now, first of all, an auto lace background means you're going to sew this design onto water dissolving stabilizer and if you sewed the butterflies onto the water dissolving stabilizer, then they may or may not sort of hold up the way that you would like them to. But by creating an auto lace background, then guaranteed there'll be some special stitching put behind the butterflies that will support them, you know, when you dissolve that water dissolving material. And so it's a way of creating freestanding embroidery from any design. You can create an auto lace background. Now you'll see that the uh, background is created now and it's been automatically added to the beginning of the sewing sequence. You can see the diamond is the first uh, segment. Um, if you expand and look at it, it says that it's a lace piece. And if you um, click on it, the properties box will be all about your lace background. And so it says here, um, lace part, and it says the lace base. So these are the settings that I can use to control the grid background for the lace. And you can, uh, for example, change the stitch length, change the, I guess, density, and choose a style. So right now it's a grid, but if I choose curve, then it would give it kind of more of a curvy background instead of a straight, you know, rows and columns. And so you'd see how this one's got um, a little bit of a curve to it is what it is. So basically this is the background for the embroidery design to help support it. Um, if we use the undo button uh, and just go back to the beginning again before we added the lace and select the design again, We'll use the tool a second time, and this time, instead of using, you know, a shape border, we can ask it to outline our design. And so the same idea when you say, okay, the program will go to work. And you might have noticed the first time that it did take some time. It was not instantaneous. Um, that is because there's some math involved, you know, in sort of creating the outline around the two butterflies and then filling it in with a layer of mesh. And there's also two layers of borders that get added to your auto lace background. And so um, it takes a minute to create it. And um, you can tell when it's done because, of course, the results will update. Uh, the spinning, you know, cursor, hourglass will go away and you'll be able to see the new piece in your uh, embroidery design. And so notice now that it's created an auto lace background that is more in the shape of the actual embroidery design. And if you watch these sew out with the slow redraw tool, you'll notice that it does that sort of mesh background first, then it puts a border around the outside and another border around that. And so those uh, three colors sew together to create 
uh, a nice labyrinth of stitching that will support the embroidery design uh, that sews up on top. And so once again, when you use your select tool and you select this lace background piece, in your properties box, you can control the mesh with the lace base setting. But if you click here, you can also change it to the border. And now you have the ability to control the settings for the borders. And so this is um, called an auto lace background. And I guess one last thing about the lace that we could talk about is when you have your uh, lace selected, if you were planning on sewing it all in the same color, you can right click over top of the lace and there's an option to uh, change to a single color of lace. And so by choosing that, then the program will know that we're planning to use the same thread for the mesh background as we are for the border. And it'll take out all of those color stops. Yeah. And if for any reason you need to um, make specific changes to any of the layers of your base, whether it be the mesh or any of the two uh, borders that get made, uh, you can also select your lace and when you right click over top of it, there is also an option called breakup lace. And when you choose breakup lace, what's going to happen is it'll actually no longer be a lace piece. Um, what it will do is it will create um, the mesh fill and the two borders as individual segments that, of course, you could then uh, make other you know, additional changes to, like add additional layers of underlay. Um, or change the directions of the threads and, um, you know, more ability to control the parameters and the details. And so, yeah, that's called um, breakup lace. And once you've created a piece of lace, if you would rather have it be three individual pieces as opposed to one complete piece, then you can uh, break them up. But just know that now I don't have a lace piece. I have a steel stitch. I have a fill stitch and I have a fill stitch. And that is basically uh, the three layers that it takes to make auto lace. And so we hope you enjoyed this week's um, RNK Software Club's video for the week that is all about the auto lace background tool.